We've heard a lot of rumors lately the Western Hockey League could be coming back to Victoria. There could be something to it. In fact, the lease renewal at Savon Foods Memorial Centre calls for it. It's been a long time since the WHL Memorial Cup in Victoria, a long time since the Cougars packed up and headed north to Prince George. And maybe, just maybe, a WHL team would fill the arena in a way that the ECHL Salmon Kings have not. Or would it? A News reporter Aaron Glazier has the story. The sign says it all. The city of Victoria has granted a 10-year lease extension to RG Properties for Save On Foods Memorial Centre that was supposed to be up in 2036, but only if the company can obtain a Western Hockey League franchise. My understanding is it provides greater certainty, uh, allowing them to uh, build into their, their larger plans. So it's certainly something that the city is interested in helping them if they choose to uh, exercise that option. Up until now, there was no concrete evidence the owners of the ECHL Salmon Kings and current tenant of the building were looking at other options, just rumours. And while Fortin says he is unaware of any specific franchise deal in the works, fans are excited at the possible return of what is arguably the best junior hockey league in the world. I think I'm excited. I'm uh, originally from Saskatchewan, so there'll be some teams flowing through that I would definitely go and uh, watch for sure. Yeah. With WHL, I think... Uh, the thing with that, there's a opportunity for young stars that are going to make the NHL that people like to follow. For a city with trouble supporting junior A hockey, 1, 1, and saw the WHL's Cougars relocate from Victoria to Prince George in 1994, simply changing the brand of hockey may not be the answer. You know, often talked about uh, is still out there is the loss of the Victoria Cougars going up to Prince George. Uh, good product, not to say that the Salmon Kings uh, have not provided great entertainment and continue to do so. But the evidence lies in the lack of butts in the seats at Salmon Kings games. We wanted to know if attendance is an issue. Is the WHL expanding and is there a team available? If so, who is in on bringing it to Victoria? However, RG Properties President Dave Dakers did not wish to comment on camera today and instead offered this statement. The purpose of this request is to be able to offer a stable operating environment. While the approval is a positive step forward toward the return of the WHL, it is only one step of many. Excitement surrounding the return of the WHL is one thing for fans, but for taxpayers it could also be a benefit. Extending RG Properties' lease for another 10 years means cost savings. That then they're 100% responsible for the capital upgrades, which is important for us as the arena gets older. Sources have told A News relocating an existing WHL franchise such as the struggling Kootenai Ice, Prince George Cougars or Chilliwack Bruins could be a real possibility and could happen as early as the 2012 season. In Victoria, Aaron Glazier, A News.